Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM1019. Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, the Siege of Spinner K. Alright, so we've got three, all three summoning artifacts and a fake one. Let's mark a, make our way back to LeChuck and uh, see if we can get um, out of a sticky situation here. I think he was all the way over this way. All the way over. Uh, this doesn't look right. This is where I just was. How did that happen? Oh no, I, well, not quite where I just was, but let's see. Alright, there's the barbecue. Here we are. Oh, uh, gentlemen. What if I were to offer you this? <clears throat> hey, look! Over here! A completely real golden sea turtle artifact! That's impossible! I saw this guy take the artifact! We ain't going nowhere till he hands it over. Or we take it from him. Man, these guys are a tough sell. I'm glad I went into pirating instead of becoming a traveling salesman like my guidance counselor suggested. Hmm. Well, that didn't help. Now what do I do? Hey, guys, look. He's got the summoning artifact right here. He's rolling. Ah. Grab it, men. Arr, let me at him. You will never. Arr. I got him! Out! Hold him down! I'll take you all off! <laughs> I got it! Ooh, that looks painful. Yar! <laughs> I don't know what happened. I used to be able to take on armies without blinking an eye. Now a handful of pox-stricken pirates can wrestle away the artifact? <coughs> ah, don't beat yourself up, LeChuck. These guys did a good enough job. Besides, that turtle artifact they took was a fake. I still have the real one, nice and safe. Good thinking, lad. Where'd you learn to pull off a trick like that? That? Oh, I've been doing that kind of thing for years. In fact, I'm <laughs> uh, kind of famous for it. Yeah, <laughs> famous in a way. I bet you are, boy. Now, you said Elaine had something she wanted you to tell me. Um, yeah, so... Um, she wants you to save the Mer leader. Watch this attraction while you. I think, uh. I think that's what she said. Elaine told me she wants you to go out to the beach and use the cannon to provide a distraction for the blockade oh, while I sail. That's not what she Mer said. Oh, shoot. Really? Are you sure that's what she said? Positive. We're buddies now, right? I wouldn't lie to you. Oops. Ha! Huh, I suppose you're right, Guybrush. I'll get right on it. Good luck, lad. I uh, actually... Wait a minute. So, I'm curious about something, because that actually... That actually wasn't what Elaine told me to do. Um, can I Can I load? Oh, crud. Um, I don't remember the last time this game saved. Oh, shoot. Okay, wait a minute. I can... All right, I'll just make another save here, because I've only got this one autosave. Wait a minute, that loaded at Spinner K? Oh, hold on, this might not... Uh... Crud. All right, I might need to... All right, well, you know what? How bad could it be? Let's let's see what happens. Why not? Why not? I don't want to put everyone through getting the artifact again. Uh, go back to the entrance. Alright, so I need to raft out to where my ship is, I think. Um, my ship's not at Spinner K anymore, so... Oh, I can roll out to the blockade? Hmm, looks like I might be able to sneak through the blockade here. Ah, okay. <laughs> Aha! This 
must be the weak point in the blockade. Now all I need to do is quietly sail through and... Uh, well, well, if it ain't a little pirate with a fancy coat what smells like bacon. Huh? Hey, who's shooting at me? Hoist your colors, you mangy sea dogs. Not one of you has the guts to sail out here and face me. Elaine, you're lucky I'm stuck in this blockade, you saucy female. Right, sail me shit right over you. Hmm. Uh, okay. Looks like that ship's adequately distracted. What about this one? Looks like that ship's adequately distracted. Okay, so they're both distracted, so now what? Oh, exit. Uh... So, wait a minute. Oh, sail out to the Screaming Narwhal. There we go. Nice chatting with you again, but I've got a Merleader to save. Where'd he go? Did you let him through? Me? If you didn't notice, I'm a little busy over here. Shooting blindly at a far-off island ain't exactly what I'd call busy, you sniveling spud scraper. See you again, Captain Threepwood. I knew you'd find a way past the blockade. Surely you have a wondrous story to share about the ordeal. Good to see you too, Mr. Winslow, but there's no time for stories now. We've got to take down McGillicuddy and save the Merleader. Fantastic, sir. Just point out his location on the map, and we'll be on our way. Hmm. Okay, the map. I want to shoot my cannon first. I never get tired of that. <laughs> okay. Uh, nothing in my hold, I guess. That's the mast. Recently repaired. Cool. Can I go in my quarters now? It's a mess in there. I'll clean it later. No, I guess not. Okay. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow. Uh, let's go to. Let's see. I just came from the Jerkbait Island, so I guess I don't want to go there. Um. Should we go to McKillicuddy? I guess we're going to get McKillicuddy. Tell me the ritual summoning words, or I'll plunge you into the icy blue. I will not let you summon the legendary sea creatures. You will not have a Sponja Grande. Fine. Let's see how long it takes you to drown with your head submerged in the sea. <laughs> It'll be a while. I can breathe underwater too, you know. Don't tell me what I know. <laughs> no, besides, <coughs> show me. I don't need to know stuff. I got the box. Lower the Merleader. Lowering the Merleader. Captain McGillicuddy, prepare to be boarded and surrender the fish man. I don't think so, boy. The chieftain is going to tell me exactly where to find the artifact so I can get to a sponge of grande or end up as seagull pickings among the rocks when I run aground. Don't worry about me. The captain has lost his ability to reason. He thinks he's going to drown me. A mer person. <laughs> you must keep the summoning artifact safe, Zybrush. Wood. Then you're the one who stopped my men with this accursed cheap imitation summoning artifact. Uh, it's me, Guy Wars <laughs> Why do you pirate? Uh oh. You'll rue the day you cross paths with me, boy. Rue? Ha! <laughs> I really gotta look up that. Guybrush, sink his ship! I'll deal with you later, Stinkwood. I think old Finface here wants another dip in a drink. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> wow, that captain's a real idiot. All right, let's put an end to this. What? No way you're going to get that shame shot twice. Uh, 
Okay, I guess you're gonna get the same shot twice. Um, well. That's where I sleep anyway. That's the mask. Recently repaired. Okay. I can't move the cannon. There's nothing over here. The only thing that makes sense. Mr. Winslow. Hi, Captain. Uh, tactical suggestions? Any tactical suggestions for taking down McGillicuddy? Well, the best solution would be if he sank his own vessel. You weren't a tactician on your previous ship, were you? Oh, no, sir. Hmm. Uh. You think the Mer leader is okay? Seems fine. As long as McGillicuddy thinks drowning is an effective torture, the Mer leader is perfectly safe. Okay, keep up the good work, the I guess. Good aye, aye, sir. Hmm, he won't give me the wheel, and he says sink his own ship. I guess I just gotta talk to McGillicuddy, That's try to I trick him. Anyway. Tell me, yo, Captain, why do you keep bothering me? Oh, you're bothering me. <clears throat> I'm sure the sponge is big enough for all of us. Let the Merleader go, I'll get the sponge, come back and cure us all. <laughs> we ain't looking for a cure, boy. We wanna destroy La Sponge Grande forever. What? Listen here, fish breath. Me and my men have been running the sweet trade on these waters for decades. We've suffered everything from scurvy to man-eating shark attacks, but we ain't never seen anything like this pot. It rots our flesh, melts our teeth, and makes our eyeballs bleed. It's turned us into terrifyingly hideous monsters of the sea, and life has never been better! <laughs> You're crazy. You can't be serious. Aye, we like being this way. The box makes us fearsome and powerful, and we'll make us rich. It's what every pirate strives to become, Guy Brush. And I won't leave that cursed sea sponge out there just waiting to take that away. Uh, I'm pretty sure the pox is just making you cranky. The pox is just making you cranky. You'll feel better after a cure and a hot bath. The Esponja Grande is a weapon against the evolution of piracy. I must find it. I must destroy it. You must give it to me. Nice try, boy. Uh. Well, let. No, I don't want to tell him that. I'll insult You're him. You're so ugly, your father wished you were the son of the milkman. Oh, so that's how you want to play, eh? The mask! Oh, well darn. Now I need it repaired again. I'll be back for you, Chieftain Beluga. We'll need to get the mast repaired again before we can catch up to McGillicuddy's ship. I know. I'll use the map. Hmm. Guess we got to go back to Spinner K. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow. Um. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir. Looks like your friends have driven back the blockade. It should be safe now. Oh, that's good. Let's go get this fixed again. Anemone. Hi, Hi. Um, a numbly? Hello again, Sailor. Please stop saying that. What will it be? Uh, I need my mask repaired again. I need my mask repaired. Again. Again? Wow, twice in one day. Yeah, well, I'm trying to rescue your leader and take down McGillicuddy, but that guy is cannon happy. Oh, how heroic. <clears throat> right off. That was fast. Our leader's life is at stake. Now get out there and do your thing. Uh, about those trees. These trees on Spoon Isle. Can anyone just take one? Technically, sure. But they're pretty heavy. I'd suggest leaving it to the experts. Uh, I think I asked you that before. Okay. I think I'm good. See ya. Don't be a stranger. Alright, so... I'm trying to think here. I have a feeling that this is some sort of loop, that if I just keep going there, I'm going to keep getting my mask broken. So, I wonder if I can swap places with... 
think I should look around for more stuff to plunder. Arr. Uh, that was a hint, I think. Um... But, I don't know what else I would plunder. Let's look again, I suppose. No, nope, he's gone. Chloe. <laughs> Alright, I wonder if I'm missing something. Let's actually take this raft and see if I can talk to LeChuck if he's still where I left him. He's not here anymore. Okay. Um, I guess swapping with him's out of the question. Alright, let's... Straight on to McGillicuddy's ship. Yes, sir. Shove off, Scruffy. Scruffy? You know how long it took me to grow this beard this way? Tell me the ritual... Yeah, see, now we're just... Sleeping with the fishes. Now we're just back and forthing. Anyway. Hey, McGillicuddy. Great work. Alright, what if I tell him I've got the summoning items? Let Beluga go. I have all the summoning items. Good. Then I'll know where to find them after the Merleader tells me the ceremonial ritual words. I'll never tell you. Either you'll spill your guts, or I will. Yeah, okay. If I just insult him again, he's just gonna hit my mast. A lot of body parts, but you're the first one I've seen with a peg brain. Shut your hole, book boy. Yep. <laughs> okay. You know, sir. I don't mind handling the bill for replacing the mast over and over again. I really don't. But I feel it would be more productive if we could stop the mast from breaking in the first place. Just my two pieces of eight, sir. Yes, thank you, Winslow. Duly noted. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so that's supposed to be a clue. Um, I need to find something here, that I can brace the mast with. After I get it fixed, of course. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Alright, let's get this fixed. And then there's probably something over here somewhere that I can brace the mast with. Stuff to plunder. Justice is blind. Well, now it is. And kind of fishy smelling. Yep, yep. Anything at the Royal Chamber Looks I can like look at? Is gone. Yeah. They didn't go out for ice cream and not invite me. Yeah, yeah, guy brush. I don't think there's anything here I can use. Ooh, looks all slimy with mer people crud now. I think I'll stay out here. Yeah, okay. Nothing here. He's looking at the mast. Uh, well... Alright, let's see if Winslow has any ideas. Mr. Winslow? Yes, Captain? Uh, how's the mast? How's the mast holding up? She is looking fantastic, Captain. The repairs are holding well. 
Embrace my captain. Let the screaming narwhal know how much you care. I'm not hugging the mast. Ah, in time, you will come to love her as your second wife. Uh, I don't think Elaine is into that. <laughs> You'll never know unless you ask. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. <laughs> Creep. Um, where are we headed, I guess? Where are we headed? Nowhere yet, sir. As soon as we point out a location on the map, we can set sail. Yeah, I, I knew that was coming. Um. Well, I met some merfolk. And I'm oh, whoops. not sure. I can't tell the men from the women. <laughs> well, just don't go kissing them all. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> all right. Well, you're not helpful. Good work. Aye, aye, sir. Assuming there's nothing else on Spoon Island to grab. Sail, Mr. Winslow. I think I should look around for more stuff to plunder. Arr. Yeah, see, that's that's my hint. I just don't know where. Um, so I can't go to Jerk Bay. Can I go to Rocket Gelato no, now? I'm avoiding that place. Okay, so I can't go to Rocket Gelato. I can't go to McGillicuddy's ship, and I can't go to Flotsam, right? Let's head back to Flotsam Island. I will get as close as I can. But with the winds blowing out now, we won't be able to reach land. Yeah, so that just gets me here. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, there's Onward to Brillig Island. Brillig Island. Aye, aye, sir. You. you! What? Shouldn't you guys be being tortured by McGillicuddy by now? When McGillicuddy finds out you slipped past us to get through the blockade, he'll have our heads on a pike! I figure as long as we are dead anyway, we might as well dig up the golden artifact and run. Of course, now we can't find a blasted thing. Well, I know we left it on this island. It has to be here somewhere. Uh, it was next to uh, something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? Uh, wrong key. The beach? Fine. Just stay where I can see you, and don't even think of digging out here. That treasure is ours. Yeah, I'm not gonna dig. There's nothing here. I already have it. Of course, I'd never stand in the way of a pirate and his treasure. Uh, I could talk to these guys, but there's a rock. Nice rock. A coconut. As funny as it would be, I'd hate for someone to trip on this coconut and get hurt. I should probably get rid of it. Okay, I have a coconut now. Oh, hello. Well, on second thought, maybe I'll just leave it there. Oh. Hey, no digging. A rubber tree? Oh, ooh, bendy. I never get sick of rubber trees. Oi, don't be sneaking around trying to get our treasure. Hmm, I can't do anything with a rubber tree. It's a palm tree. And I can't do anything with the palm trees. And I can't talk to them anymore either. Okay. Uh, it was next Guess I'm just gonna leave. Something. Oh, I'm out of ideas, guys. <clears throat> Good luck with the treasure. All right, let's. Good to have you back, Captain. Where will we be heading next, Captain? Let's try Isle of You again. Aye, aye, sir. Probably nothing going on here. It's a palm tree. Yeah, this is a super small aisle, so sand. I can't just dig randomly. Well, yeah. Skeleton. Murray? Hint, <laughs> Murray? I'm not touching it. It looks slimy. It's just a rock. Yeah, don't think I can interact with anything else here, except for the sand. Well, I'm done here. Back to the narwhal. <clears throat> Welcome back, sir. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Where uh, to, Captain? Set sail for Boulder Beach. Yes, sir, Captain. Anything going on? Anyone here? Yeah, probably nothing I can do here either. It's just a rock. It's just a rock. Wait a minute. All right, so hold on. It's just a rock. I think I figured it out. I need that. I need that rubber tree. I just 
don't remember how I can get it. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait a second. Well, I'm done here. Back to the narwhal. I I'm pretty sure that's the path I need. I need that rubber tree. I just don't know how to get it from where it is, unless. There's one on Spoon Isle that I can get. Yes, sir, Captain Driftwood. Let's take the raft one more time. Alright, so the idea here is that I need to get a log the scrap of lumber, get my mast broken on purpose, have it repaired with the rubber tree, and then, um, and then pile of fallen trees. goat, uh, goat McGillicuddy into firing at me again. I don't want to bother him while he's got a cannon. What? I don't want to bother him while he's got a cannon. All right, well, but there's no rubber trees around here I can mess with. The only one that's rubber that I need is on, bull on, uh, that island. And I don't think I have any way of getting it. Unless I use the ring to cut it, but... I doubt that's how I would do it. <coughs> oh, yep, get back on the ship. Get on the ship. Let's try this one more time. Go to, Onward, to Brillig Big Island. Brillig Island. Aye, aye, sir. I'm back. I'm in that treasure yet? Oh, we will. Don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> I know this is a rubber tree. Hey, get away from there. No. Ooh, bendy. I've got my eye on you. Hmm. And then if I pick up the coconut... Nature's yeah, I can't I do anything with that. So I can't really do anything with the... Oh! That does work! Okay. Or not. Well, that's not gonna work. What are you doing <sighs> Rats. Over there? That, was a, that was a good idea. No way am I doing anything with this ring. Elaine would kill me if anything happened to it. Alright. I know I'm on the right track. I just... I think it only works on Merfolk clamshell things. Don't know what I'm missing. I'm not grabbing that with my hook. It'll tarnish it. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Ugh. Ooh, good one. Um, well, I've really kind of, <clears throat> I'm really kind of stumped on this one. That makes, whoop, that makes me really sad that I can't just pry this out. Well, that's not going to work. I'm, sh touch that. I'm sure I'm on the right path, though. And I, they still won't let me talk to them. Yep. Okay. Um, alright. I need some more time to figure this one out. Uh, I gotta think about what my moves are, because I'm sure that's the answer. Um... As small as these islands are, I wouldn't want to just dig randomly in the hopes of finding buried treasure. I'd be island hopping for years. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Alright, well, I'll take some time to figure this out, and we'll come back for what will probably be the finale of this chapter. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check me, uh, check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun, and check out myself at twitch.tv slash chaoscontrolchannel. I'll see you for another episode next week. Take care. Bye-bye!